couple of years ago, I got the fantastic chance to interview Connor Ripley, who was on loan at Motherwell at the time, and he's still very much on the books at Middlesbrough. And I asked him a question that still needs answered. What was your first ever game at the Riverside? First game at the Riverside? He knows ever you were told me, asked me that. Ah. I don't even know. You don't know? I don't even know, honestly. So I decided to answer it myself. C99 out the first part tunnel. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to something different. Today, because Motherwell were too shit to qualify for the next round of the Betfred Cup, I thought I'd treat myself, and Adam's coming along with us, and we're going to two football games today. You got the tickets? Uh, I'll get them now. Uh, uh, we're going to Middlesbrough versus Derby County today. Two teams that are in really good form right now. Middlesbrough, really close to the top of the league. I think they drew in midweek, and Derby County won 4-0 at West Brom, I think. Is that right? God, I'm good with stats. Then afterwards, we're going to the 5.30 kick-off at Elland Road, which is Leeds United against Nottingham Forest. So, I'm really excited. Today's going to be a two-parter vlog, and yeah, let's catch that train. I love it when Motherwell don't play. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been two cutting games, so... Oh aye, Makes definitely. It fun. We, I, I don't think we could have picked any better day or games to, to do this, so... Oh, for really looking forward to it. Anyway, those who are new to the channel, you know... <laughs> English football fans, basically. We're Motherwell fans, well, it's my channel. And we just, whenever Motherwell don't play, we, we go to a game where we find interest. And usually it's a Scottish game, but today's the exception. Anyway. Well, let's crack on with the journey. We'll play some football manager as well, I'm looking forward to that. So now we're in Middlesbrough. I mean, you know, I thought they'd at least have a left luggage so I can leave my laptop somewhere. <laughs> Looks like I'll be taking it to the game, am I? To the game. Should be good, should be a cracker. And here we are at the Riverside Stadium, home of Middlesbrough FC. And for anyone disputing the name, yeah, that is a river and it's next to the ground, so it's the Riverside. Get it? Ah, yeah. Banter. Back in my day, they didn't have FIFA at football grounds. <laughs> here we go, first game of the weekend Middlesbrough v Derby County. Do oh, what a tune to walk out to as well. Here we are. What a stadium. You know, a certain sharp Devon CJ Noble will be familiar with that face. <laughs> Martin Waghorn. I need my for you. Ah, no. So, Adam, what are your thoughts? First, first impressions of the Riverside? What do you think? I think it's the Riverside. Oh, it's a good view. Like, we've got the whole pitch. So, you see on the telly? We will be on the telly. No, but I. but. Like when you watch it, it looks a lot bigger than it is. Oh, aye. So, I know it's a brilliant stadium. It's a really good stadium. Next to the way fans are now, so that's going to be better. And of course, former Motherwell player Dan Randolph plays for Middlesbrough. Hey. Where's the sky camera? Let's <laughs> see if we're actually on telly. <laughs> see all these disco lights going off? Is this what Celtic paid £2 million for? Something like that, it's, it's not really much, is it? Here we go! The main reason we are here today to see Big Daz, Darren Randall, back in action. Been ages since we had it. Never thought I'd see the day. Um, same ground as Frank Lampard. And just along here is Tony Pulis. Malone snaps in for Derby. Over the head of Marriott, but Pumbled in. 
White Wall strikes. And uh, that's one nil Derby. I think it's well done now. I think it was White Wall that got the goal. Last time he scored a fight, I never thought I'd see him score again. Half time at the Riverside, it's 1 0 Derby, and Derby are really deserving of being top of the league right now because it's a top of the table clash. Whoever wins this goes top. And Middlesbrough have been very slow, and whenever they get the ball, just on another one, just wasted chances and wasted possession. And whenever Derby get the ball, they're fast, great forward, and that's the difference in this game. And that's why I think Derby's going to win it. But the time for Middlesbrough to score all cup is pretty short, but they just need to. Get a bit quicker on the ball. That's the thing, they don't actually have any pace. And the second half. And the second half's about to kick off. 55 minutes of the clock, and Middlesbrough just used all three subs. So let's see if we can, they can get back into the game. Centre forward. She said, you, you put your mortgage on your centre forward to score that. Oh. Oh. Connor. Connor. Connor! I thought I was in for a minute. Woo! Take it now then. That's Pogo! Kick on the edge of the box. I'm just going to leave you here and I'll, this is pretty much the end of part one. I'll do a wee post-match analysis and I'll cut to that right now. So, all in all, the game itself, I thought Derby over the hole had the game. But if you don't score enough goals when you're on top, you'll get punished. And after a fantastic first half from the away team, I thought Middlesbrough were lucky to still be in it. But they grew into the game and, of course, Derby scored after the 18 minutes. But Middlesbrough were always improving throughout the match. So basically it was a rags to riches for Middlesbrough. They just started at this level and then they were always working their way up. Whereas Derby were still always at a consistent good level of performance. Whenever Derby got the ball, they were always pushing forward. Whereas Middlesbrough were just lackadaisical in attack. But as you've seen, the previous two results now for Middlesbrough, they've been held both games at home this week. So maybe they're just not that ready yet for Premier League football because the one of these teams that always goes up and down, up and down but of course Derby County I think are strong contenders for the title I think they might actually lift the title in May but I think Derby County are playing some of the best football I've seen this season and although there's not much to contend with 
it being a mother of <laughs> Anyways, I can't really give much of an insight to the game because although yeah, I watched the whole 90 minutes, I can't give much of an in-depth analysis on either performance because I don't know what these teams have been like in previous matches. I don't have anything to compare them with. So I, I just want to say it was a good game. I really enjoyed the match and I do promote going to matches as a neutral because for one, you're no stressing and you're not pulling any hairs out if you're watching uh, two teams that you don't have any affiliation with. It's just the fact it's a good game to watch. It was quite fast. I really enjoyed the game. And I also enjoyed chatting to some of the uh, regulars at the Riverside as well. I thought it was a good day out and it was a good part of the day. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of this as content. There's a couple of YouTubers I'm sure that will have done content for this match. There will be Borough Fan TV and I'm pretty sure there's a Derby County vlogger as well. So I'm going to leave their links in the description if I can find any. And yeah, I hope I didn't steal their content. <laughs> Which is why I've uploaded this about Sunday or Monday. But anyway guys, there will be another vlog out on Monday, which is Leeds v Nottingham Forest. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.